Welcome to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, we got our Maxima in the shop, got the wheels off, took it on a test drive, have this rumbling and growling noise, pretty bad. As a matter of fact, the steering's even getting a little bit loose. Brian, this thing's getting dangerous. I'm suspecting a wheel bearing. Yeah, I think your suspicion is absolutely on par. And I'll tell you what, you talked about grinding. Let me tell you about grinding. Here's the classic 12 and six o'clock test. I got all the lug nuts off except for two. They're torque to spec, but look at this and listen. Holy cow, that's no wonder you were getting grinding. That wheel's doing this going down the road. So no further diagnostic is needed here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this disassembled so we can get in route to get a new wheel bearing hub assembly in here. Well, you get started, get those lug nuts off. I'll tell you what, that's exactly what I was feeling. I was feeling that as I was driving and I was hearing it by turning to the right or to the left. Now I got a couple of demos set up right here. Now we've done a bunch of wheel bearings here at Tech Garage, but we haven't done this style because there's different types. The first one I want to look at is a tapered wheel bearing and that's located right here. Some bigger cars, heavier trucks, some of your old school models had this taper wheel bearing. And if I pull this out, you actually can see the wheel bearings. And this is called a hubbed rotor because what I have here is if I knock the bearing out, you can see Located right here is the actual bearing itself or the race and then the bearings right here that sits in there. It's called a tapered wheel bearing. There's one on both sides of this one. This is a little bit different design than what we're dealing with. Now on Tech Garage, we also did a hub bearing or a sealed bearing, one whole unit itself right here. Now this was really easy because if you look on the back, there's just some bolt holes. We just took the bolts out, replaced it, bolted in there. It's one whole unit. It's called an integral unit. And what I was getting, I actually have a bad one here that you can hear. So if I pick up this one and I'm quiet and you listen up, you hear that grinding? Now remember, there's not even 2,000 pounds sitting on that. That's what we're hearing on our Maxima. How should it sound? Well, you don't hear it. You're not supposed to hear it. It's nice and smooth, everything's spinning along. Now on our Maxima, what we have is we have the whole spindle with a pressed in bearing. This is called a generation one or a cartridge style bearing. Now this one, things get a little more difficult. Why they get a little more difficult? because this one's actually located inside of here through this whole spindle assembly and it has to be pressed in and out of here. So this is the wheel hub itself, which is located right here. And then the bearing sitting in the spindle, which is right here. And if I go to put it on, it's not gonna go on. Why? Well, we're gonna need a press to do that. This bearing's actually pressed in and pressed out. And it's a pretty complex job. The whole wheel assembly hub has to come off, then the bearing, and then we have to put everything back together. And we'll get to that in a little bit. But what we need to do first is get this whole assembly off the Maxima. Let's check in with Brian. See how you doing here, Brian? All right, we got the caliper hung up here safely with our best friend, the bungee cord. All right. I've got a lot of the lower strut mounting bolts are ready to come out. Let me give a little encouragement here. Those are ready to come out. I've got the ABS, the wheel speed sensor, backed out. That's just one 10 millimeter bolt. Now, while you're up under there in the suspension system, what you need to do is just do a good visual inspection. When you're doing a good visual inspection, man, go ahead, look at your strut assembly, look at your ball joint. I mean, you got the wheel off, you're ready to go. Make sure you mark it for your alignment so when you put everything back together, you can at least get it to the alignment shop. It's not gonna be accurate, it's not gonna be perfect, but at least your wheel's not gonna be cambered in or cambered out or towed in or tow out, actually wiping it out on the way. Well, Brian's pulling that out. Brian, I'm gonna go ahead and sneak this uh, axle nut off for All you. All right. All right. Take the axle nut off, get that lower ball joint separated. Once we get that lower ball joint separated, then we can go ahead and pull these bolts out, take the tension off of it. You may have to pop them through there. Yep, let me Good just call. back them yep. out right here. Just back them out. No I mean, need we're gonna, to fight it. Nope. We're gonna take the whole spindle assembly off where we can press the bearing. There it got comes. that one? Yep. Keep going, there it goes. Yeah. How about the bottom one here? There yeah, we go. There we go, got it. Perfect. Yep. Now we'll just take the ball joint off. We'll go ahead and separate that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that whole spindle. We got two options. We can go ahead and press it out here on a car with a special set, but I'm gonna take it over to our Woodward Fab Press. Chief Tech Chase is over there. He's gonna give me a hand. We'll do that right when we return with more Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com.